It's another long shot effort to stop the flow of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. BP's new plan to cut off the broken leaking riser pipe, put a cap over it and use a new pipe to siphon oil to containment ships on the surface. That program will take through to the end of the week to have that cap in place and operating. The uncertainty is about what percentage of the oil can we capture. Even if it works, it won't stop all the oil. And in the short term, the government says cutting away the kinked pipe will allow 20% more oil to gush into the Gulf. Everything BP has tried so far to stop its gushing well has failed. The last attempt, choking it with heavy mud, was finally abandoned over the weekend. We have been unable to overcome the flow from the well. So we now believe it's time to move on. In Washington, growing anger and accusations that BP knowingly understated how much oil has leaked to limit its liability. I have an internal confidential BP document which says that they believed in the first week that it was 1,000 to 14,000 barrels per day. In hard-hit Louisiana, where workers cleaned oil from this brown pelican today, public patience has run out. Let's sell them our oil and make our money. From New Orleans to the oil-stained coastline, shrimp creole. The holiday weekend in Grand Isle was an economic bust. It's killing us. Literally killing us. Closed beaches and fishing areas are keeping tourists away. Moving in, workers in temporary camps here to clean up oil that washed ashore last week. You can look down and you'll see tiny tar balls. Actually, there's some right here. And you can just see this is what we're doing. That's all crude oil. This water-filled barrier called Tiger Dam is the last defense against oil coming ashore here in Grand Isle. The National Guard is deploying more than seven miles of this here along the beaches. If it works, the barrier will keep any new oil confined to the shoreline. That would be a small victory, but here, any victory is a welcome one. And there has been one victory here in Grand Isle. Some of the beach that was previously oiled has now been cleaned off and is open again to the public. That's just the sand. Officials say the water is still off limits. Jeff? Hey, Dunn, so talking about those cleaning efforts, we understand, though, that BP says some areas they're not going to clean right now. Why is that? Well, it's not that they're not going to clean them, but they say in some of the marsh areas, they don't want to do the deepest cleaning because that can cause damage as well. They want to make sure they've stopped the inflow of new oil, so they only have to do that deep cleaning once. Got it. Okay, Don T, Grand Isle, Louisiana. Don, thank you very much.